Hi, good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm about to make a cup of coffee, but welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Lauren. I'm holding on to my big box of Nespresso coffees. I keep all of my boxes in here. Here, I'll show you. I keep all of my Nespresso pods in here. There is a ton of boxes. Probably 14 boxes in here of coffee. And then I keep my recycling bag right in here too. But I placed an espresso order on Wednesday and their shipping was so fast that I got it Thursday afternoon. Nespresso released a new coffee. It's the tropical coconut flavor over ice. So I got two boxes. I posted a photo of it on my Instagram and a lot of you commented and said, let us know how it is. So I haven't tried it yet. I just opened the box for to see the pod and for a photo. So um, I'm gonna try the pod. You're supposed to pour it over ice. So I think when a cup of coffee is made to be poured over ice, I think it's brewed stronger than others because it's meant to be put over ice and it's meant to be kind of watered down. I'm gonna add milk before, so I'm adding oatly to it. Just a splash. Should I try it without the, okay, I'm gonna try it without milk first. Maybe I should take this ice out. You can smell the coconut right when it's brewing. I had to stop it because it probably wouldn't all fit in my glass. So I'm gonna try it first without milk and then I'm gonna add see how I like it with both. Okay. What I like about this coffee is that it is a light hint of coconut flavor. Usually I don't like the Nespresso coffees because it's so light of a flavor that it's just like you need to add something else. So I'm gonna try it with milk. It's actually one of my favorite flavored coffees that Nespresso does. I didn't really like the vanilla custard pie one. I liked caramel cookie, but I didn't like hazelnut muffin. Um, those types of flavored coffees I just didn't really like, so I was hesitant to try this. It's good. It's good with um, milk. What would even make it good too is if you added like vanilla creamer. Since the tropical coconut flavor is really new and you haven't tried it, definitely go try it. And if you have tried it, like you were the first person to basically purchase it or you purchased it on the day that it was released, let me know what you think and let me know what you've added to it. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I like it with just the Oatly. Maybe I'll try it and get like a vanilla creamer to try with it too. Maybe I'll do that today and see what it tastes like, but this is so good. I think this bag of pods is kind of full up to the line, so I'm gonna close it up and I'll take it to work with me because we have a UPS drop-off at work. I really don't want to overfill the bag that has a fill line. So I'm gonna pour in this. Now I can fit these. I have so many pods. Oh, when I also placed my order at Nespresso when I got the tropical coconut, I also got another Bianco Ligero.
I just left my dad's house. I was filling up my tire pressure there. Actually, last weekend, I think I went over a speed bump too fast. I don't know, because after I went over the speed bump too fast, my tire pressure light came on. So it's been on since last weekend and I really needed to take care of it. And my, sorry, this road is bumpy. My dad has an air pressure tank, so I, went to my dad's house to do that because it's so much easier than going to the gas station. You're not like rushing because someone's behind you and people aren't staring at you. You could just do it in the comfort of my dad's driveway. So I went there and did that. And I had to pick up a package anyways because I am working with a brand. I'll talk about it tomorrow, but I am testing out some products with a brand that I've never tried before. So I'm excited. Now I'm going to Costco to restock on our chicken and salmon and sausage stuff that we've been getting and loving. When I went to Costco, I saw, and I took a little clip that they had liquid IV in Costco and it's t like $12 cheaper than off the liquid IV site. So I picked up the tangerine flavor. I've never tried this flavor, so we'll see how it is. It has vitamin C in it as well. And I don't think the lemon lime flavor does, so I think it has added benefits in this flavor too. And then I got this big box of Spindrift. It was like a 30 pack for like around $10. So I'm really excited for the raspberry lime flavor. So we'll see if it's good. I'm gonna open it and put some in the fridge. I just wanted to try something new. I almost got LaCroix, but decided let's just try this. And I think this was cheaper than the LaCroix at Costco. So we'll see if it's any good. This raspberry lime sparkling water is really good. We're about to grill some burgers. I'm gonna throw some sweet potato fries in the air fryer. I should probably heat this up now. So that way I can get them in. And I'm gonna pull them out. trying the lemon flavor. He didn't like the raspberry lime flavor. You don't like it? Sorry, it's okay. 4.2 out of 10. It tastes like lemon water, but sweeter, better. This is good, tastes like lemon water, and the raspberry lime was my favorite. about to make another coffee using the tropical coconut flavor and I got a creamer at Publix I mean Target yesterday it's the nut pods creamer in French vanilla and has zero sugar so it's an almond and coconut creamer and i like how it's flavored too so we'll see how the flavor from this complements the tropical 
coconut with and like the coconut has vanilla flavor notes in it so this might just bring it out and make it so good so we'll try it i wonder if i should just pour it in or if i should cold froth it Okay, it's so good. So I did the nut pod and then poured the coffee. I had to stop the coffee because these glasses aren't big enough. I really do need like really tall glasses for a full cup of coffee with ice, but I just don't have any. And then just a little bit of Oatly and it tastes really good. Definitely try this combination. I think it kind of completes the coffee too. Just received this package yesterday at my dad's house and it is from Merit and it is their beauty collection or their whole beauty line in a shade. So it's not every single item, but it's a shade in every single one of their products. So they sent it over to me to try out and I'm very excited. It is vegan, cruelty free and all clean ingredients. Their motto is less is more, so it's just highlighting your features that you have and making it look natural. So I love that. So I'm gonna try out their stuff. And I'm gonna do it on camera. And it also comes with this cute little bag that you can like tie. So it can be just kind of like a little purse that you could bring with you or it could be like a travel makeup bag, whatever you want. First thing, Perfect complexion stick. I'll link their site down below. This is the first thing. And I got it in the shade Bisque. And it just doubles as a concealer and a foundation stick. So you can kind of just do a two in one. It cover up some. They don't carry powder. I really like it. It gives like a natural finish, but it's it's definitely buildable. I'm just gonna set certain parts of my face with just a Laura Mercier powder. So I was really spot on with the color, which is always good when buying makeup online. Next is blush. I got blush in two colors because they were out of stock of their brush that they had. So I got to pick another product. So I just got two blushes because I just blushes. I wear blush every day. So I got two different colors. So I got mood, which is a darker, probably a perfect fall winter blush. And I got Beverly Hills, which is more of like a lighter version of this but i think i'm gonna go with the beverly hills one gives the perfect color oh i like that color next is the day glow highlighting balm so it looks like this wow Okay, this would be perfect for summer. I think this whole look is very perfect for summer because it's really easy. There's not a lot of products. It's lightweight and it's glowy, dewy, and just everything that you want in summer. Okay, so next, Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara. Oh, what color did I get this in? I got this in Bounce. So I think it's a really good color too. Wow. Okay, so here's mascara. This came at the perfect time because I just ran out of my mascara. But I wasn't lying when it said it was lengthening. Now is the Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. And I got the color brown. I can't just do a brow 
brush unfortunately my brows are just too thin and there's a lot of patches so I just can't just have this so I'm just using a Morphe um, eyebrow pencil because I have to fill in these sparse areas love that okay next is the shade slick it's a tinted lip oil and i got the color pink beet i don't wear a whole lot of lip product so i figured this was like a really good color just don't wear a lot of product on my lips so when i do i just look a little different i think it's pretty and natural and perfect for summer and I think it's glowy and fresh. And I picked good colors. A little bit outside of my comfort zone with a lip. But I feel like it's a good color too. It kind of just enhances a little bit of lip color without it being too much. I will link all the colors down below as well. Thank you, Merit, for sending me these products, letting me test them out. I love them and I think they are perfect for summer and also perfect for work. I don't like wearing a lot of makeup to work and a lot of product on my face. I prefer to just go just like this, enhanced my features and do something really light and natural. And that's what I prefer during the work week. So I think it's perfect for work, perfect for summer. Just kind of enhances your natural beauty, which I love. Products will be linked with all of the colors and all that good stuff. I cannot believe it, but I spent the last three hours making an Instagram reel. If you want to see the reel, check out my Instagram. This is my name. It's just, you can either search me by Lauren Colvin or my username is Lore Colvin because my nickname is Lore. A lot of people in my um, life, like close friends call me, my sister calls me Lore. Just, it's like a nickname. And I also end a lot of videos, like I'll sign out as Lore. So it's Lore Colvin. Check out the reel that I posted that literally took me three hours, which is so embarrassing. Um, I'm not good at it. So I think that's why it took me so long, but to basically like film all the clips make the clips, find the music, make the little cover photo. It just takes a long time. So I was doing that for three hours and um, it was about the new Nespresso tropical coconut pod and like the recipe that I use to make that coffee. So if you're interested, check it out like it also follow me on instagram i'm trying to be active over there that's what i've been doing um i went to target and i got new glasses specifically for the reel and i'm gonna obviously keep them but i just like make myself laugh when i do that i don't know when this video will be up but i'm about to film a work week in my life so stay tuned for that if you're interested in work week in my life i'm not gonna start it's sunday now i'm not gonna start one this next week but the following week which is my birthday week so I'm going to be doing a um, work week of my life, the week of my birthday. So if you like seeing work weeks, work week, work weeks in my life, work week in my life, work weeks in my life, you work nine to five or you're just interested, stay tuned and subscribe because there's one of those coming up. I'm trying to do them more frequently, but they're rough. Like they drain the entire life out of me filming a work week in my life and then i vlog on the weekends so i'm like literally continuously vlogging for nine straight days and it is just it takes a toll on you if you're vlogging for nine straight days and you're working nine to five and you're working out and you're cooking dinner and you're cleaning your apartment it's just like it's hard to do it all and you're editing videos it's just it's hard so that's why i don't do work week in my life that often um i'm gonna try and do them more often but they just they literally drain me so bad <laughs> like they're just a lot of work and then they take 12 hours to edit so 
it's just a lot but one of them is coming up so stay tuned if you like my work week of my life or you're interested but i have a few and i'll link those down below i am obsessed with this flavor of spindrift the raspberry lime it's so good <laughs> this is the setup it was literally a complete disaster over here it was a different setup i moved this out of the way filled the bowl of just like the tropical nespresso pods and i put this plant next to it because it's kind of like tropical i filmed it like that so i think it turned out really good it took me way too long so i'm embarrassed but i was using my ring light so i need to put it away i should have waited until now to film it because there's just so much light that comes in sorry for the mess um there's just so much light that comes in even with this one closed it's just the best at this time of day this is like my favorite time of day just look at the light Thank you.